today on Divorce Court. I'm here today because I want to know if me and this girl gonna make it the next week. I want to make sure that we are ready to take the next step of marriage. I'm here to get answers to the many questions that I have regarding his infidelity. I think I'm a faithful man. I've changed. I mean, look at this face. Doesn't it look faithful to you? Like, help me out, somebody, please. If I'm not giving it up, I know you're getting it from somewhere. So, yes, I do think he's cheating on me. We haven't had sex since January because of a video that I recently seen of her. I wouldn't walk away if I found out he's cheating, I just want him to make the first step to tell him the truth. If she doesn't appreciate me, I'll find someone else who will. Divorce court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Victoria Houston and Jonathan Morgan. I'm getting ready to do one of my favorite things, which is a before the vows. You two are 21 and 25, respectively. You have one child together. You are thinking about getting married, but there are complications and issues. So you came to me to talk about them. I got uh, your compatibility tests here, which I'm going to talk about in a moment. I also have your marriage license, which you gave to me with permission to tear up. Should I find that the union is ill-advised? I'm going to start with you, Ms. Houston. Tell me why you love him, but you're here and you're having problems. Tell me what's up. <sighs> um, Your Honor, he is a liar. A liar. <laughs> he lies about the smallest things. Um, I always tell Jonathan, if I'm asking you a question, it's because nine times out of 10, I already know the answer, and he still tends to lie to me. Well, what kind of things does he lie about? About the women in his life. Um, the women in his life? Mm-hmm. Um, a couple of women in his life, he's told me they were just friends or, you know, they just went to high school together, but text messages say differently. So... When was <laughs> the first time you f lost trust in him? That he did something, you felt, uh-oh, I might not be able to trust this man. Uh, while I was six months pregnant with this child, uh -huh. I was away in college in Alabama. This was actually the first time we had been away from each other for up to six months. Mm -hmm. um, we had went from seeing each other like every day to, you know, being yeah, separated for right. right, to being separated for a minute. While I was in college, we used to talk every day. He had mm -hmm. a job, and he would call me before he went to work, his lunches, his mm -hmm. breaks, after he went to work. We would literally talk all day. Right. So during my time in college, the text messages started getting shorter, the calls started getting less and less. And of course, my friends are putting in my ear, you know, girl, you probably cheating on you. And mm -hmm. I'm like, Jonathan would never cheat on me, especially now that I'm pregnant. Mm -hmm. And plus, I never saw any signs of any cheating or anything, because I never went through his phone. Well, what's the best evidence you have that he did, in fact, cheat on you during this period? Um, text messages. Uh, he... What what did you see in the text messages that made um, you believe he was cheating? I have them right. I have oh, you just, have them. I have some, just a percent. This is just a percentage. A per just a small percentage. You're just messages. gonna give me a little taste yeah, of what, this, what, what's going on. That's Mr. Morgan, a... while I'm looking at these text <laughs> messages, why don't you tell me your version of these events? Okay, so what she's probably talking about is the girl that um, I was um, cheating on her with. It's plenty of girls, not just wow, one. Wow, she was in um, <laughs> Alabama. I'm only had, I've only had sex with one, one girl, and that's the girl that she's referring to. It's um, a couple of girls. But, you know. But that was while she was pregnant and you were mm -hmm. apart. Yeah, right. Yes, ma'am. And so you admit to that one? Yeah. Okay. Is that this one? Oh, no, that's not this... even those. Two. These are just these random, are other, these just are random, random women. Random. That's just a, a taste, a sample <laughs> of women. Yeah. Mm hmm It's text lingo, Your Honor, so take your time. Well, I know what that means. Mm hmm <laughs> Uh-oh. So, so can you explain? I mean, it, these are sexual and flirty in nature. What, what are you doing sending texts to women that are like that? Um, they, they, I mean, they, <laughs> I mean, they, they easy, you know what I'm saying? Um, They're easy. Yeah. What's easy? Oh, it's easy to do? I mean, they, they, I mean, it's easy to, it's... He's, he's basically saying it's e easy to smash them, basically, yeah. so he's gonna go for it. They gonna go for it. You go for so it, you, So you, so you are going to sleep, your no, intentions are mean, to sleep with these women. Yes. That's you the, just said that. Yeah, that, I mean, that's the intention, but I, I've only had sex with one girl, though, so that's irrelevant. <laughs> it's, that's irrelevant. <laughs> oh, no, you just didn't get around to it. That's your right. problem. Right. You, just, you just say, you know, you're setting up circumstances to allow you to have sexual 
contact with these women. You just most of haven't them, gotten there yet. Mo most of it just conversation. They don't pull up or nothing. You know what I'm saying? But like, you want them to. <laughs> but if they pulled up, you would, right? right? It depends on the circumstances. If I'm feeling it, not <laughs> But now, Miss Houston, do you hear what he just said? Mm -hmm. Yes, unfortunately, yes, yes. It's, and it's been like this. When I first went through his phone, this is actually when I actually came back from college, and this is the first time that we've been dating for a year. But, but Miss Houston, you, 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 you just you, you just ran over it. He's telling you, I'll have sex with other women just when I have an opportunity to do so, and I have, I'm not trying to hide it. I'm not mm -hmm. lying to you. I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm you know, got from free radical women out there, and I will do it if I can. Why in the world are we here on a before the vows? I mean, I, I, I can put it in the simplest term, and that's simply because he's literally my best friend, and I love him, and we share a child together, and of course, and every woman's dream or every mother's dream, you want to be with the father of your child. You the wanna... way to do that is to get <laughs> married first. And then you watch him. You watch him for a couple of years after you marry him. Then, then and only then do you share your gene pool with him. You can't mm -hmm. just have a baby and then have to work it backwards. Yeah, yeah. Can I say something, young? Oh, go right ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like that now. Um, I've definitely changed. Um, How long ago was this? Right. I mean, you're 25. How long ago could it have been? I'm not sure what, which messages are those. I mean, but that's just, that's just a sample of them. There's other women you... Yeah, OK, yeah. It's Houston, I don't accept so little. I can't believe you're not more upset. I'm upset. I don't even know him. <laughs> I mean, I, I was upset. I was. I was. But now I'm at the point where, OK, you want to do what you want to do, so now I'm going to do what I want to do. So it's like, it's not that I want him to sleep with other women. His first step is just telling the truth. Just tell me the truth. He told you. Yeah, now, because we're in front of you. But when we're behind closed doors, everything is a lie. Everything is, okay. I'm not texting, I, you only, you're the only one. I'm not all texting right, other right. women. Well, and... Mr. Morgan, I, I, I want to get the spotlight off of you for a moment. I understand that you believe she is a cheater, too. So I'm going to let you tell me what, why you believe that she is, in fact, cheating on you. So I was going through her messages, and I went to one particular um, thread where she was talking to a guy. And I find a video, Your Honor of her and the guy having sexual intercourse. Now, Ms. Houston, do you care to explain that? So, Mr. Morgan, why do you believe that Ms. Houston is cheating on you? All right, so, Your Honor, on one instance, mm -hmm. I came home from work, you know, long, hard day at work, Dealing with everybody. Um, <laughs> you know how that go. Um, anyway, so while she was in the back sleeping with our child, um, I, I walked in and seen her phone, you know, in the living room charging up. I usually don't go through messages because that's mm -hmm. not me. Because you but have no for... reason to. So what did you find? When okay, you did so that? I was going, so I was going through her messages, and I went to one particular um, thread where she was talking to a guy. So I'm scrolling through the messages, and I find a video, Your Honor, mm -hmm. of her and the guy having sexual intercourse. Whoa. Not only that, um, I kept scrolling up, kept scrolling up. Um, dating, going back, she told me that a guy, a guy had put up to my house, and to our house, and she claimed it was her uncle. They were going out for brunch, and he was supposed to give her some money. So. She came back to the house empty-handed, no money. <laughs> I, whatever her excuse was, it, it, it was what it was. So, um, so back to the messages. I scroll, I see the video, I scroll down, come to find out her uncle, the one who pulled up to the house, mm. was actually the guy that she in was, the, that, yeah, in that the she video. was having sex with in the video. Now, Ms. Houston, do you care to explain that? What Jonathan fails to realize is... <laughs> <laughs> Everything that he's accusing me of is stuff that's happened after we've not only broken up, but stuff that's happened after we after he's cheated on me. So throughout our relationship, he can attest to it. I have been nothing but loyal to this man. Now wait a minute, are you are you together or not? We 
working on it. We, you, we you, together. You're killing me in the process. <laughs> now, Ms. Houston, don't videotape it. <laughs> Can I just, just put that out there for you? Never works out. Yeah. It's fun in the moment, but then it gets out, and then you got all these kinds of problems. But when you were with this guy, were you doing a revenge cheat, or were you broken up? What was the deal? Me and Jonathan, we had like that on and off type relationship where every time I would find out he was cheating, I would, okay, we're done, but the next day, okay, I miss you, let's get back together. So it's kind of been like that for three, four years now. So I want to say it was kind of like a revenge uh, situation. I honestly didn't think he would go through my phone because he's never had a reason mm -hmm. to. But yes, in a way, it was kind it was of, a revenge yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You have a difficulty with her, her relationship with social media. Why don't you tell me about that? Well, Judge, if you, if you care to know, she, we actually met on social media. Uh -huh. I actually went through her Instagram and seen conversations where dudes is like, hey, you so fine, you so chocolate, I want you to have my baby, um, you got a big booty. Miss um, Houston, does that occur on your Instagram account? Oh, right, but I can't help that. Just like if women come under his picture, he wants to get at every woman who's attracted to him, no. The issue is you playing into it. Right. So I don't entertain. There are certain men I'll entertain if they're attractive, but it doesn't go past, uh, it doesn't go past nerdy. that. What he sees, it doesn't go past that. Okay. It doesn't go like, oh, let me call you tonight. Got, Let's meet you. up. Let, no. I Gotcha. But I don't, I don't... Now, uh, you know, I, we, we, we've, we've gone far enough on that topic. I want to oh, switch subjects to something I found fascinating. Uh-oh. You're 21 and 25. You're looking to get married. You say you love each other, but you haven't had sex in a year. So I want to figure that out. You know, our daughter still sleeps with us. She's two. Uh -huh. And she still sleeps with us in the bed. Um, and I've tried to get her, hey, we actually got a, a whole second room in the house, I'm like, can we, she can sleep in there and you know, we can do our thing in the room, you know what I mean? Ms. Houston, are you using her as a human <laughs> shield? <laughs>
Uh -huh. And she still sleeps with us in the bed. Um, and I've tried to get her, hey, we actually got a, a whole second room in the house. I'm like, can we, she can sleep in there and you know, we can do our thing in the room. You know what I mean? Miss Houston, are you using her as a human <laughs> shield? <laughs> in a way, yes. And if, if if he's gonna bring up, I can't stop thinking about the video. You just he just said I don't I I can't stop bringing up the past. That's the past as well. So why can't you get over that? So your honor, it's okay. I, I got I, I'm with you. I'm with you. Oh, I have come to a conclusion, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you what it is. <laughs> How long would you stay committed to a sexless relationship? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. Sometimes women come in here, got a little piece of okay here, got a little piece of okay there, and then they have a baby, and then they want to make a life out of it. You've come in here telling me you won't have sex with this guy because you really don't believe he's faithful. You're really afraid you're going to get something from him. You, you, you really don't trust him, in part because he's not trustworthy. And he's telling you that. And he's texting women. And he's doing that. He even spoke on it in here. Don't ignore the elephant in the room. Why would you want to commit to someone you can't trust to have sex with? You, you, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Marriage is a very deep, meaningful, and if you do it right, long process. You don't trust him enough that he's not sharing his body with other women so he can't share his body with you. Mm -hmm. That's not trusting. That is no basis for a marriage. He's your best friend and you're like, you know, woman, he can stay your best friend and all that. But you have to really believe and trust in a dude before you can make him your husband. So you can't ignore the elephant in the room. You've got to decide whether or not he can be trusted. And I don't think he can be. Now, Mr. Morgan, it's all on you. You can decide whether or not you want to be the kind of man that she can share her body with. But you're going to have to show her over a long period of time that none of this nonsense is going to go on, that you can be away from her and nothing bad is going on. You've got to be loud and proud with it. You know locks on the phone, all of that. If you want her, that's what you need to do. And that is all the way up to you. But don't do it until he's done it. Don't g g do a little bit, oh, I'm going to marry him. Don't do that. <laughs> You, you with me? Yeah. So, Mr. Morgan, it's on you. Now, I'm not going to sit up here and tear up your marriage license. I'm going to go back there and burn it. Because <laughs> <laughs> you two don't know how to have a relationship. The, the way to address a problem is to discuss what's going on, not to revenge, cheat, photo, have some guy pull you up. And you, it, that's all you're doing. So you got to grow up, and then you've got to demonstrate. You got to come correct for a period of time, and you don't get applause for coming correct. Mm. You don't get applause for not being that mm -hmm. dude on the corner mm -hmm. with every chick. That's not an applaudable moment. You understand? That's a man moment. I done told you what I'm going to do. If the alarm goes off, it's just your marriage certificate. <laughs> this matter is adjourned. <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan and Lede really convinced me that obviously Jonathan is not the man for me and that I should be moving on because he's simply not ready for a woman like me and he's not ready to commit himself fully to me. If Victoria just give me a chance, I promise you I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do right, you know what I mean? I feel like I've changed, um, I can't, if not, I can change and I'm, I'm, ready, I'm ready to get married, I'm, I'm ready to be the one for her, straight up. I hope that one day we can come to a place where we can at least be best friends and just be best friends, but he's not the man for me.